and one man killed in a crash in East Bear County. Investigators say the the trampoline was flying, and then on the um, right beside it, there was a car just flipping. So it was it was scary. <laughs> Around 1.30 this morning, Ramiro Castro woke up to this scene. A car lying sideways in his backyard, and inside it was an unconscious driver. My daughter was calling the police. We were trying to see if he was awake. The window was already broken. We busted the window open, and we were trying to get him out. But as soon as I saw that he was, um, he was bleeding, I just left him there. Castro says he tried to help, but he trusted the first responders more. He simply didn't want to make the injuries any worse. The homeowner tells me the driver was coming down North Foster. They lost control of the vehicle, hit the curb, actually rolled through the fence into the property, knocked the trampoline across the yard, continued to roll, and actually landed right here where you can still see some of the remains. At night, it's real, it's dark. You can't really see, and then it's bumpy. There's a curve, bumpy roads, and no light, so it's pretty hard. Castro says this is not the first time there's been a problem on this road. There was a rollover on North Foster only a couple of doors down just last year. He says he doesn't think the problem's going to go away anytime soon. And he wants to make sure he and his family are ready if it ever happens again. I'm going to have to put some concrete over here so in, in, in something like this happens again, it at least won't go into my yard. Max Massey, KSAT 12 News.